Good morning, honey buns. Let's have another good day. I'm going to like a, a farmer thing with my little brother. He's a farmer and it's kind of cool because it's like an auction. So there's going to be lots of animals and he wants to buy like some little piglets. It is low-key so hot and I forgot that I wanted to put an under eye brightener on. I'm just putting concealer on today because I realized that with my sebaceous hyperplasia, which is like the what's going on over here. Foundation just doesn't sit well on it and then it looks very cakey. I'm using this Hoola bronzer <laughs> that I bought in like 2020, 2019. I don't know. It is forever old. Like it's hitting the pan. So I went to church on Sunday and we've been doing like Exodus 34 all about like God leading the Israelites out of Egypt and like into the desert to go and praise him, learn how to worship him and stuff. And I never thought about it, but that was, it's something that the, the pastor said. He was like, okay, but every time God wants to teach people something or give them some big breakthrough in the Bible, he takes them into like the desert. And then he said that like, you might be in a desert right now in your own life. And he said that like, the desert is somewhere that nobody wants to be. I'm in a place in my life where I keep saying, I don't want to be here. Like, this is not what I want. This is not what I had planned. I don't even know what I'm doing. And I just keep reiterating that I don't want to be here. So when the pastor said that the desert is where someone doesn't want to be, I was like, oh my gosh, why are you talking right to me? Like I've been going through like a pretty rough time, just finding like direction for my life. When he said that, I was like, okay, maybe I need to stop trying to figure out my own direction. I don't need to lean on my own understanding. God is obviously in control. He knows what he's doing. If you don't believe in God, that's fine. Just know that Jesus loves you. So this is a safe space for my Christian fam. The weird thing about like my skin condition is it doesn't really bother me anymore. It just, I, I get sad sometimes because I really want to do like full makeup. And then I can't look in the mirror without being like, oh, that looks kind of shit. The other thing like the knowledge that my kids are gonna get it like there's a very big chance that my children will have it just because it's genetic so just like because i don't know what i'm doing with my life right now i'm trying or like i i want to try to commit to these get ready with me's because it just gives me something to do in the day and like something to wake up for and be excited for so if you want to follow along come on just press the follow button hit that plus sign oh shit no bye